Kia ora year 11, 12 and 13. This is an excellent question from the 2018 Level 3 differentiation paper and it's a parametric differentiation example. Um, so here's the question. Uh, we've got a curve that's given to us by these two parametric equations and we have to show the following thing. We have to show that the second derivative divided by the first derivative to the power of 4, for some weird reason, is a constant. Now, I'm not going to do this very, very slowly because I've done other videos on how to do parametric differentiation. So if you're looking for one of those, um, I know there's one from a couple of weeks back which is called something like this, 13 MCA, um, parametric for Duke of Ed Trampers. Okay, so you can go and watch that one if you need a kind of slower teachy video to show you how parametric works. Because in this one, I'm basically just going to work my way through the problem. Now, the only tricky part here is getting the second derivative when we're doing parametric differentiation. The first part of the question is pretty straightforward. So we've got um, dx by dt is equal to 3t squared. And we've got dy by dt is equal to 2t. And we know that parametric differentiation is just the chain rule at work. So we can always, I always write this out when I'm starting out. Um, it's dy by dt times dt by dx, but we don't have this one in exactly this form. We've got this thing here instead. So we can rewrite that as dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And sometimes we write it as y dash over x dash. So in this case, that gives me 2t over 3t squared. And we can clean that up a bit, and we get 2 over 3t. And it's going to be useful to write that in this form, 2 thirds of t to the negative 1. All right, so that's dy by dx. So that's the first thing we need. Now the second thing we need is the second derivative, which is d squared y by dx squared. So what this means is take your first derivative and go differentiate it again with respect to x. Now that would be fine, except that we have dy by dx and it doesn't have any x's in it. Now sometimes you can go and do some substitution, but here that's going to be really painful. So we're stuck with t. The only thing we can easily differentiate with respect to is t. So we can make the chain rule work again as follows. We take our dy by dx and we differentiate it with respect to dt, with respect to t. Then we multiply through by dt by dx, but we know that that's the same as dividing by dx by dt. And we've already got that, and this is not going to be very hard to work out. So what was dy by dx? dy by dx was equal to 2 thirds times t to the negative 1. So the derivative of that with respect to t is negative 2 thirds t to the negative 2. So my second derivative, d squared y by dx squared, is equal to this, negative 2 thirds over t squared, divided by dx by dt. But that was 3t squared. So all up, what do we get? Well, we get negative 2 over 3t squared times 1 over 3t squared, which gives me negative 2 over 9t to the 4. So we've done all the hard work. What do we have to show now? Let's go right back to the question and have a look. Well, we have to show that the second derivative divided by the first derivative to the power of 4 is a constant. So let's do some substitution. So d squared y by dx squared divided by dy by dx to the power of 4 is equal to what? Well, the second derivative is negative 2 over 9t to the power of 4 divided by the first derivative, which is this, to the power of 4. So I'm going to clean up a little bit of algebra first. So it's divided by 16 over 81t to the power of 4. Right, when I divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is times 81 t to the power of 4 over 16. And you can see in here that these 
cancel out and these give me 9 and this gives me a common factor of 8. So I get negative 9 over 8 which is a constant as required. So we might just write that. Right, a constant as required. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and leave me any comments if you've got questions on that one or just ask me in class.